Hi, I'm Marcus with All American Health. We're a non-emergency medical transportation provider here in the state of Florida, good old sunny state of Florida. Um, uh, I was having a conversation with one of my friends yesterday and they were asking me, how do you build relationships with facilities uh, inside of the non-emergency medical transportation industry? Uh, my friend, he actually provides services uh, in a couple states over in Louisiana. Well, it's actually one, just one state over, but he provides services in Louisiana. And he said during COVID, it was very difficult to get someone on the phone, of course. You couldn't go into facilities and things are starting to calm down now. But he said there's still kind of a, a reluctance to allow people to show up and talk with you. Um, I told him you have to create ways and opportunities to get into the facility here. Uh, in Florida, they, they're actually allowing people to go in and out of facilities and, and you know, in, interact with staff and members um, like they were doing before COVID actually hit, uh, since we're learning to try to manage, you know, COVID a little more now, uh, you know, that, you know, we're, we're trying our best to get back to normal, uh, but we're, we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're, we're trying our best. And, uh, you know, one of the ways you do that is by constantly introducing yourself to as many people as possible when you're in a facility. I know uh, people don't want to interact unless they have to right now. Everyone has a mask on. You can't tell if someone's smiling at you, laughing, uh, but you still want to interact with people. You want to make yourself available to as many people that will accept uh uh, talking with you and, and, and meeting and greeting. No, you don't want to stick your hand out and shake anyone's hand anymore. Uh, that's somewhat frowned upon nowadays, but you do want them to know that you're not just there for that particular client, but you're there to solve any uh, transportation needs on a non-emergency basis that they have available. If they have a client that needs to go to a medical appointment and they're on a stretcher, you want them to know that, you know, you provide stretcher services. And that starts with getting your message out. When you walk into a facility, uh, usually there are a lot of doors open. You have the admin's door that's open. You have the assistant admin's door that's open. Uh, you have the discharge and the social services, uh, you know, doors that are usually open. Uh, drop off some material. If you see that the door is closed, slide some of your material under the desk and then give a follow-up call. Or when you're returning to drop that client off, see if someone's sitting in there and they got your material. Hey, I left some material under your door. Did you did you see my material? Just wanna let you know, we're here to provide, you know, non-emergency transportation services. If you ever have clients that, uh, you know, the provider didn't show up to take them to their appointment, or you have a need to get someone to an appointment, we're happy to provide that service. Let them know you, you know, you accept credit cards or you, you do a net 30 account, however it works, you know, you're happy to provide services i've had so many clients that ran that i ran into and dealt with um with facilities where they didn't realize i was actually a provider of transportation services uh they thought i was working for the insurance company they, they say well i thought you were you know you were just an insurance company um employee and i would let them know that no this is my own individual company you can give us a call directly uh, and connect with us. And that, that brings in so many great transportation opportunities. Uh, it's really finding ways to get your message out there. Another good way is through digital marketing. Um, one thing that we do at All American Health is we, we provide a couple of digital marketing solutions. We do Facebook ads, Google ads as well, uh, Instagram also. And that's a great way to get your message out to B2C customers and B2B customers. We actually closed a contract with a hospital uh, one time based off of someone just, you know, searching us online. Uh, they saw our information. They asked us if we could provide the service. We did it on a trial basis. They enjoyed the work that we did and they wanted to contract with us as a result. And we, we continue to have that relationship with them right now. So, uh, you know, you have to create ways to get in front of people and build a relationship. Leave company marketing material at the desk where the nurses fill out all of the information. Every, every facility has a uh a nurse's desk just leave some of your information there leave a calendar leave some envelopes with your company's name and information on it that they can put their clients information in when they're sending them out on appointments uh you have to create ways to stay in front of people uh if you're not showing that you're relevant you're irrelevant uh and you never want to run into that situation and you never want to be in a position where someone's saying you know i i didn't know your services you know existed uh because those are missed opportunities 
hopefully this was helpful helpful to someone bye guys